Howdy folks, in this video I'm going to be creating an investigative tension type cue for a taxi listing due in a few days. And I'm going to be using a concept I've talked about in other videos where you take an existing piece that's been placed in a library or placed on TV uh, and, and use that as a template for a new project. So working uh, smarter, not harder, uh, saving some time, etc. So let's dive in. For starters, this is a taxi listing, as I mentioned a second ago. Uh, it's due in a few days. Pulsing investigative tension instrumental, a library brand new to taxi, which is the reason I signed up again with taxi last year, making some new relationships. Now I can't share the references in this video. I probably could briefly, but I don't want to do all the work of making a video and then put it up and get a copyright strike because record companies and YouTube can be really annoying when it comes to trying to share content but that's fodder for other videos. So check out these, uh, uh, these, these sources here, these reference files here to hear the sound, but it's the typical stuff you're gonna hear on you know, the old headline news forensic files or CSI type shows where they're combing through a burned out house or a, a murder scene of some kind. It's kind of a somber move. Uh, so that's what we're building. And in this particular case, they want between 90 seconds to three minutes. And more importantly, the client wants alt mixes of 60, 30, and 15 seconds. That's really easy in electronic music and, and, and hip hop and rock, etc. creating hard stops. A little tougher in drony type space, ambient type things, uh, but we'll give our best shot to see if we can create that. So I did some math and uh, for the tempo I'm shooting for at 96 BPM, uh, that gives me exactly six bars in 15 seconds, 12 bars in 30 seconds, 24 bars in a minute. If you do some work before you get started, it makes your job easier down the road. Uh, if you started just writing at some tempo that felt good to you and then you get done and then you, you know you realize oh i gotta do these edits at a certain time and man i can't make this phrase fit it's just less than 30 or it's just over 30. so if you do the math to figure out uh the time set you need you can start at that tempo and save yourself a lot of grief down the road so let's dive into the project i was mentioning before uh, this is a project, uh, probably a couple years old, um, that was accepted by a library, and I believe it got placed. I'm not going to use this content. I just want to show you what it sounded like, and then we're going to build from, uh, from what we got here. So the former track is this. Very simple. What are we hearing? That drone in the bass? The strings? Oh, well, they go further some pulsing, kind of a sad minor key, obviously. So that's kind of what we're going for. And we got to do at least 90 seconds. Uh, this particular track stops around you know, two minutes would be a little longer with the ring out. But that's the general format. You see that it starts with this guy and then I just build and I build again, add some strings, keep on building, always adding something. You hear the phrase, adding or removing content to improve uh, variety. Well, that's what we've got here. You know, one instrument, two instruments, three instruments, four, five, six, plus some ear candy. And that's it. So what do we got? Let's listen. Um, Alchemy, a fantastic synthesizer that comes with logic. I'll pull it up real quick if it will load. There we go. If you haven't upgraded in a long time, this is what Alchemy looks like now. And it's got a whole bunch of neat stuff. In this particular case, this is a uh, bass pattern. So let's go to A minor, I guess. I'll get it, I just hold that forever and I've got a tension cue. Let's see what else I have, the, the, uh, the second track here. There's your pulsing. So I've got two moving pieces, the deep bass and this kind of higher octave thing. And then I got a pad, which is, you know, soft and gentle. This is on the sphere. I didn't cover the second track. The second track, Sets of Urgency, is Omnisphere. Omnisphere is wonderful. Alchemy and Omnisphere, those two can give you probably a career intention uh, tracks. So I, it looks like I need to update. Um, but there's Omnisphere. And then those that watch regularly know I'm a big fan of Lethal, an old rompler. Another on the sphere patch here, percussion patch. Some strings on the sphere as well. Which ones are these? Yeah, Adagio transparent springs, strings bright. 
a sustained pedal. Nice, I like the strings a lot. I use them quite a bit. All right, let's start from the beginning here and uh, we'll just keep it simple. D minor. Whee! Okay, we're done. Wrap it up. Book them. No, that was, uh, we're starting simple. Keep, you got to keep in mind when you're building a track that you got to start simple. It's, we're going to take time. Just imagine that you're back from commercial and you're just, there's this music, they're talking about the scene and then they cut to the investigation, uh, the crime scene, and the music kind of sneaks in. And if the, if, the, if the editor wants to start with more tension, they can insert at one of those edit points you created for them later in the piece. But you got to start early. When you watch TV, and I encourage you to watch a lot of TV to study the music styles that you like, uh, that you can write, and, and listen to how the music comes in, when it comes in, does it come back, are there any spaces, etc. So I've just got a simple four bar long note, and it's got it's got its own pulsing thing going on. And I'm just going to repeat that. And now let's see, how long do I have here? This is... Two minutes. Okay, we'll go that. We'll go. We'll try to. We'll shoot for roughly two minutes. Okay, so I'm hitting Command R just to repeat that. Now I've got all that there. Okay, no, nothing fancy. I'll deal with the edit points in a minute. Actually, see, automatic pilot kicked in. I've got four bar phrases. I don't want that. What did I say earlier? I want six bar phrases. So I've got three, two bar phrases. I'll join them. I'll J to join. Now I can do my option R, uh, command R, sorry. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. We got two minutes of stuff right there and six bar phrases. Let's add a marker. I mean, I could just say I know where my chunks of time are, but this way I'll know for sure. Now it doesn't, it seems pretty basic right now, but once you get more stuff on screen, it might, these might be visually helpful later on. So basically, I'm telling myself I got 15 second blocks right here. So let's just do something incredibly simple. Let's take these guys here. And now I've got some variety. So we go from this. Absolutely straightforward. Very similar to what I did last time. And this is one note <laughs> on each pad. I'm going to add some edit spots in here in a second, but. Right, I'm just getting instrumentation down. Let's do the same thing again. Remember what it looked like when he started here? I'm gonna do this for the first minute. What do we got in the bass here? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, Gary, are you seeing how simple this is? Section four. And this is a drone, attention drone. I'm going to be adding some melodic type stuff here in a bit, but right now we're setting the foundation. Let us do some editing real quick here. So now I want to end at 59 and a half seconds. So it's not 60 seconds, it's 59 and a half. So you want to do a fade out right before that's, you know, downbeat of 25. Um, so let's go in here. I'm going to select all these guys here. And I'm going to do a little bit of drag. Take it, let's do let's, let's stop on the downbeat of the next to last measure. So there's a slight ring out on the uh, pads, they kind of hang. So maybe I'll just cut those off on the downbeat. I gotta make sure I have dead silence from right about here. So. Almost, we could add that with some automation in a second here. Uh, and I'll put a little hit in the downbeat. Command Shift M gives me a track where I can add automation to the main stereo out. So uh, normally I can change that to volume and then add my fade outs here. So. So that's fine for the whole thing. But 
this little fade out here. So there's my downbeat here. I got to be back in for the downbeat here. And so where is 59 and a half? 59. It's really not 59.3. It's, it's, it's 59. So we got to be dead by there. And then let's go in and clean that up. This is how we create edit points, folks. It's one of the biggest questions I hear tax members ask. So now let's play a couple bars. And we need to see here the whole effect. Need these real quick. And I'll unmute those so you can see when it comes back in. So does this sound musical? Let's see. We're back in again. So I can do the same thing here for my 15 second piece, although I want to figure out which 15 seconds makes sense. I could start right here and say, this is my 15 second edit starting now. Because there's no reason I have to start with the first 15 seconds. The editor just wants 15 seconds that make sense. And if I want 30 seconds, I start from here. And bam, we got 30 seconds. And we got Sonic Variety. But we're not done yet. This is just the pad, the foundation. Um, but we've got a nice edit point there. Do I want to bring percussion in earlier on this particular one? I think I'll save it for the second half. And, but I do need some kind of melodic thing going on. You know what I need? I need a piano. Lots of options to choose from. You could use the stock. Grand piano that comes with Logic. Um, I can use I can use the the Giant. Basically, D melodic monitor. You know, I might be too busy too early. Because again, six bar phrases. Yeah, I'm going to take those out here. <clears throat> Cut this. Move that over here. So I'm kind of training the listener's ear that these are six bar phrases. Okay, so I've got the bass hit on the piano, which is fine, uh, but I still don't have any kind of melody or motif or theme. Let's find some sort of plucky thing, a gentle bell or a toy piano or something like that. Let's stick with alchemy, I guess, since that's stock. And we got it all here. We'll go with the ambient genre, but we're still looking at plucks. Hmm. That'll work. The ambient guitar right at the top of the alphabet. Bam. It's a flat six to the five. And here comes the minor third. Quantize those. Okay, repeat that. And I'm gonna make it slightly different the second time and then the same the third time. Oh, I didn't mean to cut that. And if you don't know what I'm doing there, I am option click dragging to copy that. When you see a little plus sign, hold down the option key, click, and you got a plus sign. A variation here. Okay, so let's hear. I made. I'm. I'm going to create tension. I'm going to release the tension. So first time.
there's a delay in this track that's this is let's it's like a one measure delay that's kind of messing me up and for some reason that guy didn't come out i'm gonna select all these and make a slightly softer velocity let's see if delay is tied to that I'm gonna go, yeah, the delay is bothering me, so I'm gonna go edit that patch. So now we're gonna add some percussion in that second minute of this thing here. And we're gonna repeat that. Just one more phrase. So same form, just with percussion this time. And I got some strings to add still. I didn't add my impacts yet. And maybe we'll add, put this guy over here. Add that there. Might not need that at the end because of the rise and hit. So let's go back to this right here. Very subtle. I have not brought in my strings yet. And uh, let's see what we got here. Just two notes, F and D, the third and the root. Let's, let's start from here and see if we, we, we might fade them in. motion for the end of the phrase, let go of the strings on four. Oh, no, too early, Paul. Wow, that's the next phrase, second phrase. So let's come back in. And I'm adding some slight motion. Um, we'll get rid of these guys here. But those worked out fine. So I'll come back in here. And this has the first melody. Starts in the B flat. Okay, got it. So we got the strings here. So it's an F and a D above it. So it added a G and a fifth. Tension. Okay. Quantize those all to the eighth note. That works for me. Um, of course, I just heard that big ending. There's got to be a rise and a hit. I have that left over from the previous project. So it starts right here. And that was kind of quiet too. Oh, that's right, because I don't have my compressor and stuff turned on. So things are kind of quiet right now. I've got my effects in the master bus off right now so I can get a clean mix, the levels the way I want, and then I'll add compression, etc. So we need more or is that enough may not be compelling enough to get by a taxi screener with this work on tv absolutely uh but it doesn't have the melody that, that that's the one of the engaging motifs again this is you know sparse type stuff um 
I'll have to go back and listen to the references. Let me do that real quick. I'm going to go back to the references and just see what they've got going on. All right, so they are a little busier than what I'm doing. There's some more action, more energy, some more, slight more melody. I'm going to kind of replicate that here and see what we can do. Some little basic melody there. So I'm gonna take these here, keep them there. Put them in the second half. I'm gonna add some more percussion. What if I add strings to the melody with that guitar? Okay, I think that works. Do I have a stinger ending? I'm gonna hit that low D on the piano. Now let's get to the effects here. So I got my compressor happening here, stock plug-in, usually the uh, orchestral tape. Let's start from the uh, something right here. Without. Go back to the beginning for a second here. Okay, I'm back after a few gremlins attacked my machine apparently. I was starting to get weird MIDI information from my keyboard being sent, adding volume increases to tracks, and it was bizarre. So, uh, just lost a big chunk of time. But let's go back and take a look at some levels here. Let's start here and see what what what, what uh, we're at from a, from a Luff's perspective. So I'm looking for a metering, my multimeter. You know, some libraries ask for specific output levels and LUFs. Uh, I've got one that wants it around 10, one that wants it around uh, minus 14. Uh, so let's just see where I'm at here. It's so right here, I'm minus 15, just a hair on the soft side. So let's look at my limiter here. Turn it on. Loudest peak was roughly in the tens, so I think we'll stick with that volume there. Like I said, I've got this ending right here, and if I that's one minute, you can see. And if I start at 45, that's 15 seconds, uh, and we got the ending. I kind of tweaked, and so that's my 15 second edit. If I start and just do this spot here, you know, I'll have a 30 second edit, and I start from here. I've got a nice 60 second edit and it really just fades just before that downbeat, half a second or so before. So there's that. I could try to do the same thing at the end, but see if I have a 60 second block here, it just, I've got that extra stinger. So I can't, that won't musically fit those four phrases in the 60 seconds. Uh, but I have, I planned ahead and have that 60 seconds here, including the tail off just before the 60 seconds. So now we're good. If I wanted to, 
do a 60 second thing here. Maybe I could start. That'll actually work because I got this weird six bar phrase. And I have the ending here. just before the downbeat, so I think we're good. And just to be safe, what I could do is hit my A for automation and do another one of these fade outs here, just to make sure that there's no overbleed. And that's 05, I wanna take out just a hair of a second. So that's that's a you know that's a a two or three second ring out. Don't know if that would be a deal breaker or not. I don't think it would be. So there we go. So now I got it. Now I've got a potential one minute edit point there. <clears throat> All right. So machines acting strangely. Weird MIDI information being sent. Volumes changing that I'm not doing myself. So let's see if we can power through the whole queue uh, from beginning to end. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. All right, if you're still here, I'm still here. Thanks for watching.